Hello, everybody. Andrea here with Dental L Tutoring. So you are thinking about dental hygiene school and you want to be accepted into college or there's also university programs. I'm going to teach you guys what you need to really prepare for, especially in high school. And then kind of even if you're done high school, how you can get into a dental hygiene program. And there is an easier way to do things if you have the money. OK, and that's what I did. So I'm going to share with you exactly what I did. So in high school, I didn't have the best grades, believe it or not. I had high 80s, low 90s, which is fantastic, in my opinion, for a lot of programs, but not for dental hygiene. You need to focus on sciences, math, and English, and your marks need to be in the 90s all of them in order to get into a dental hygiene program. Depending on your community college, they might only accept 20 students twice a year. So imagine a lot more than 20 students are going to want that program and, and they accept the ones with the highest marks. So your higher the mark, the better. So that's what you really have to focus on. But what I did, I tried all community colleges in my city, near me, even further from me. I did not get into a single one, not a single one. What my counselor told me in high school, which is no longer the case, depending on the location, of course, was if you take a pre-health program in college and get good marks there, you can reapply for hygiene school again. So that's what I tried to do. But pre-health sciences was just basically high school. So I was learning about sciences, maths, all of those things that I truly hated. And my marks were even worse because I didn't like it. It was horrible. So I wasted a full year, spent, I don't know, maybe $6,000. I can't remember the exact cost for nothing. So what I did was I applied to private colleges. If your marks are horrible in high school, you're not going to get into a private college. Like I'm talking, if you barely pass everything, then that might not work for you because you do still have to take an entrance exam. It's very basic maths, Englishes, sciences, they tell you actually what to study for to help with that entrance e exam. If I can pass that, you guys can pass that. So the, the entrance exam is not hard. But if you had horrible marks in high school, like 50s and 60s, then you might want to consider taking, let's say, a pre-health course in college and get better marks. But see, I didn't do it that way. My marks were pretty good in high school, but just not good enough I went to college, tried again. My marks were even worse because I wasn't learning what I wanted to do. So what I did was I applied to a private college. If you pass their entrance exam, that will get you to the interview process where you just kind of, they ask you questions. I do have YouTube videos where I talk about the types of questions to prepare you. And then if you have the money, you are accepted. Private colleges are more money than community colleges. I did not care. I would have done anything to be a dental hygienist. I'm glad I did, you guys, because 18 years later, I am now a tutor and I have my own dental hygiene practice. So I'm very glad I did that. But they're not cheap. My private college was about $45,000. It was probably a bit more, but that's just kind of the number that I remember for the whole program. Um, I had to take the program twice because my first school went bankrupt. I have more info on that. If you want to watch the YouTube video on that, just do a search for I took the program twice. That's the title. You will learn all about that. So imagine. And I, then I actually had to move living expenses, all of that. So the easy way to think of things is get good marks in high school, maths, Englishes, and sciences. That's what you need to apply into the dental hygiene program. Now, if you just really, really, really try, no, nothing's you know working, then I suggest going into the dental assisting program because you're still in the dental field. It's not any easier to get into the dental assisting program, but at least you have other options. I wanted to become the best dental hygienist ever. So I wanted to be a dental assistant first. So that's what I did. And I'm glad I did because that taught me so much. I was able to work in a dental office first and kind of learn that way and then have a job while I was in the, um, dental hygiene college. So I was still kind of learning both. I was still in the, in the, in the field, it was a great thing to do. So that's another option too. 
So you guys, let me know if any questions, comment below and good luck. It is worth it. The dental hygiene, you know, field is amazing. And I highly recommend it to anybody who is interested in becoming a dental hygienist. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.